Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss Maths Olympiad practice paper for class 3. Question number 1. Find the number of cubes in the given figure. Option A 9, Option B 10, Option C 11, Option D 12. Kids, we can see that here is 1 cube, 1, this is also 1, these are 2 cubes. These are also two. These are same two cubes, and these are three cubes. So let's count how many cubes are total there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Answer is option C. Eleven cubes are there. Question number two. Find the missing number in the given number pattern. 42, option C 48, option D 52. Kids, these patterns are given and we have to find what will come at this place. There is a certain relationship between these numbers. If we subtract 21 minus 9, we get 12. And subtract 24 minus 8 is 16. If we add 12 plus 16, we get 28. This is the number written here. Same, let's check in this figure. Here, if we subtract 29 minus 10, we get 19. And here, 35 minus 9 is 26. If we add both of them, we get 45. That is the number written here. This figure, how we will get 23 minus 12 plus 42 minus 11. That is 11 plus 31 is 42. So, correct answer is 42. Here, 42 will come. Answer is 42. Option B. Question number 3. Which of the following options shows the mirror image of figure X? If mirror is placed along MM. This figure X is given. We have to find the mirror image of this figure. And the correct answer is option B. These are repeatedly asked questions. You can solve it by yourself also. Question number 4. Which of the following alphabets is not present in the given logo? Option A, E. Option B, B. Option C, A. Option D, F. We can see E here. And F is also present. As this is F. V is clearly visible here. But A is not here. So answer is option C. Question number 5. Latika, Garima, Bina and Megha were stand, standing in a line to buy chocolates. Bina stood immediately after Latika. Garima was between Megha and Latika. Who was last in the line? Option A, Latika. Option B, Garima. Option C, Bina. Option D, Megha. Here, Garima Bina stood immediately after Latika. That means they are standing with each other. Bina stood after immediately after Latika. That means this is Bina and this is Latika. Garima was between Megha and Latika. Garima was between Megha and Latika. That means this is the sequence how they are standing. Who was last in the line? Bina is last in this line. So, answer is option C. Question number 6. If rabbit is called peacock, peacock is called lion, lion is called tiger, who is the king of jungle? Option A, rabbit. Option B, peacock. Option C, lion. Option D, tiger. The king of jungle is lion and lion is called tiger. Answer is option D, tiger. Tiger is the king of jungle. Question number 7. 
find the meaningful combination of numbers so that letters are arranged accordingly to form a meaningful word these letters are given and we have to find a meaningful word from these letters we can make a word scale from these letters and here s is 4 c is 3 a is 2 correct answer is option b you can check other numbers also kids question number 8 select the correct match of shapes used to form solid kids look at the options carefully and answer is option b cube square is used to make cube question number 9 if Priya takes a leave of 2nd Saturday and 4th Saturday in January, then how many days are working? Assume that every Sunday and Republic Day is a holiday. Kids, it's given that 2nd Saturday, that is 12th, and 4th Saturday is 26th, is a holiday. And every Sunday is also holiday. Let's cut out it. 6th. 13th, 20th and 27th is also holiday and Republic Day is a holiday. Republic Day is on 26th January that is on 4th Saturday. So now how many days are there? How many days are working? Total 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 holidays are there and total days are 31. So 31 minus 6 is 25. Total 25 days are working. Answer is option A. Question number 10. Select the odd one out. And op answer is option B. D is the odd one out because D has curved line while others have straight line only. Question number 11. If one gift box equals two flowers and these total equals one whole, then two flowers and one gift box equals what? Kids, we can write one gift box equals two flowers. So this is also two flowers. These are also two flowers. And these are also two flowers. Let's count how many flowers make one whole. Total Nine flowers makes one whole. Nine flowers equal one whole. And these are how many flowers are there? Two and two flowers equals one gift box. That so these are four flowers. So four flowers equals this the fraction is four by nine. Total nine flowers makes one whole. So, 4 flowers make 4 by 9. Answer is option B. Kids, if you understand this question, please like and subscribe this channel. Question number 12. I am the smallest odd number that comes after 4386. Add 632 to me. What number am I now? Smallest odd number that will come after 4386 is the next number that is 4387. And if we add 632 to 4387, we get 5019. So, correct answer is 5019 option A. Direction question number 13 to 14. The given bar graph shows the types of sports people like. In this bar graph, here number of people are given and here types of sports. Question number 13. Seven less people prefer jogging than dash. Option A, swimming. Option B, basketball. Option C, cycling. Option D, badminton. Jogging. People, uh, uh, total 5 people likes jogging. That means 
5 plus 7, how this is, is the number of other games? 5 plus 7 is 12. And how, which games peop, 12 people likes? Which game? That is cycling. Cycling is 12. That is 7 less people prefer jogging than cycling. So answer is option C, cycling. This is same bar graph and question number 14. The total number of people who like swimming and dash is 42. Total 20 people like swimming and 42 minus 20 is 22 and badminton 22 people like badminton. That means our answer is option D, badminton. Swimming and badminton. Total people who like swimming and badminton is 42. Question number 15. Which of the following options have a value greater than 1000 minus 850? We first we subtract 1000 minus 850 and we get 150. From options 85 plus 10 is 95, 85 plus 15 is 100. So this is not our answer. 85 plus 85 is 170. That is the number 170 is greater than 150. So our answer is option C. In option D, 100 minus 85 is 15. So this is not our answer. Question number 16. There are two possible routes that Anshika can take to reach her school from her house. Which route is shorter? P or Q? By how much shorter is it? This is Anshika's house and here these lines is given root P. That means root P is this root and this is root Q. Dotted line because here dotted line is given. So first we check which root is shorter. Anshika's house to library to school is total 5 km 308 meter and from my the root Q is Anshika's house to market is 3 km 264 meter plus 2 km 80 meter is school from the market. So total is 5 km 544 meter this route. So this which route is shorter? Route P is shorter. And how much is shorter? It is 236 meter. Because 5 is same, 5 kilometer is same in the both. So we do subtract from meter to meter. And answer is option C. Root P is shorter by 236 meter. I hope you understand kids. Please give me a thumbs up. Question number 17. Find the weight of the empty container if the weight of each ball is equal. Kids, here it is given that weight of 3 balls plus container is 23 gram. And in this, in this weighing machine it is given weight of 5 balls plus container is 33 grams. So first we check from this. 3 balls equals 23 grams. It is given 3 balls plus container. And 5 balls plus container is 33 grams. If we subtract from these 5 balls plus container and 3 balls plus container equals container to container subtract. So 5 minus 3 is 2 balls. 
equals 33 minus 23 equals 10. So, two balls equal 10, 10 grams and one ball equals 5 grams. Here, it is given that three balls plus container is 23 and three balls equals 15 grams plus container equals 23. So, the rest container is 23 minus 15 equals 8 grams. Answer is option A. Question number 18. The remainder when 780 is divided by 9 is dash. Option A 5, option B 7, option C 6, option D 4. First we divide 780 by 9. So if we write it like this, divide by 9. 9 8s are 72 and here 6 0 9 6 are 54 and what is the remainder? Remainder is 6. Because 6 is less than 9. So, correct answer is option C. Question number 19. Arrange the given numbers from the smallest to the greatest. These numbers are given 7717. Second number is 7771. Number is 7177. Smallest number is 7177, second number is 7717, and third is 7771. The correct answer is option D. Question number 20. The value of this abacus minus this abacus equals what? First, we find out what is the value of this abacus. Here in a thousand place one and hundred place is six balls, tenth place is two, and one's place is seven balls. So the number is 1627, and this is one six at hundred place, one at tens place, and five at ones place. Let's subtract from 1627 to 1615. And that is 12. So, answer is option B, 12-1. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and find it useful, please subscribe this channel and share with your friends.